Hi everybody, and welcome to Survival Dads. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this. It is a copy of the famous MOD survival knife. Now this is seven uh, blade inches of awesomeness. It's tough, it's reliable. It's been, the design has been fully tested for many, many years. And uh, it's a very versatile option. So stick around and we'll show you some more features and put it to the test. Okay, so first things first, we'll take a look at the sheath. So you have a DPM tough cordron material, um, all really well stitched, really well put together, and uh, absolutely bomb proof. You have a secure Velcro closure here. Very cool. And a nice large belt loop there. And also a smaller one there. So very versatile, put it on all sorts of kit, backpack, belt, whatever you needed. So the actual blade itself. Put the sheath to one side there. Here it is. It's absolutely huge if I compare it to the size of my hand. Absolute beast. So this was originally designed for use with the British Army. Um, this is not a weapon as designed. Um, that's what a bayonet is for. This is a utility tool. So weighs about 500 grams. Stupidly thick and uh, solidly built. So it has a seven inch blade. And oh, it's just cool. I'll bring you a bit closer so you can see it a bit better. So we have the large wooden handle, uh, comes in like a uh, lighter stained wood. This is the darker version. Nice big finger guard there, and hand guard, so your hand is not going to want to have a sharp blade. Seven inches all the way down to the end. And just look how thick it is. Very cool. So three pins holding the hand together, full tang leading to the back with a lanyard hole, should you wish to put a lanyard on it. So an absolute beast. And one that I'm going to test now. Okay, so first things first, we'll see what it's like cutting with. So this is as sharp as it came delivered to me from springfield.co.uk. Link description as always. Um, yeah, let's see if we can just uh, cut this stick a bit. Sticks pretty rubbish, but um, we get the idea. <laughs> Final work come done also because the nice thick uh, ridge at the top here, you're able to get your fingers on there and really get that fine work done. So, if this stick wasn't so rubbish, I'd be able to kind of do some feather sticking. The problem at the moment, all the wood in the uh, forest I'm in now is just sodden and wet. And I don't like cutting live trees down or damaging live trees. Um, so you'll have to bear with me while I'll try and actually show you this knife off. I think you can see that. I think you can see it cuts really well. Um, it's also fantastic for chopping with. Very cool. So I've managed to locate a somewhat more substantial piece of wood. Um, let's see if this can cut through this. As you can see, this is a extremely versatile tool. Um, you can use it to make further tools out of wood, or you can just prepare wood for a campfire. Went through that like an MOD survival knife through wood, or 
like a knife through butter. <laughs> Very cool. Um, not a single bit of damage to the blade there. What I'll do now, although looking at the front of that, that's not going to break at all, but I'm going to try and uh, break the tip if I can or do some damage to it. So I'll do that by stabbing this dead stump here. Still nothing. Nope. Nothing whatsoever. Blade is still perfect condition. No warping or chips or anything. And it's still Incredibly sharp. I'll find some more sticks to chop up because it's quite fun chopping sticks. Go through them like anything. So there you have it. That's just a. Uh, oh, it's filthy. It's just a uh, small demonstration of how tough this MOD survival lifestyle knife is. Strong, reliable, durable, multi-purpose tool. Absolute beast, and uh, I think a firm favourite in the survival dad's camp. It's huge. Look at it. Um, but yeah, so really cool. Um, decent utility uh, sheath for it. It's not fancy, uh, but it's bomb proof and it'll do the job. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Keep your blade sharp, and I'll see you soon.